there is some curious uh, element of uh, competitiveness in Danish uh, companies that is based on their capacity to have aesthetics and economy as forms of knowledge conversant in what they do when they run a business. So many of the growth cases in terms, and these are things we study in entrepreneurship, uh, obviously, a growth of, uh, of companies, uh, even the most successful cases of growth in the financial crisis have been design intensive companies, those who have a clear priority in terms of design in, in, in what they do. And uh, so there is a, a distinctly um, aesthetic basis for uh, competitiveness that uh, and there are many the overused case globally is obviously Apple, uh, but you have uh, closer to our home, uh, IKEA, who's been growing the last decade by prioritizing design as an entrepreneurial strategy, so to speak. How uh, leadership is today executed is not so much a matter of making the right decisions uh, on the basis of the right calculus. It's much more about performing according to expectations when on stage. And that stage could be the internal, the audience is your employees, but is increasingly so uh, reviewing audience in business magazines, in media and in press. Uh, so you need to be able to uh, perform uh, as a leader. And that, that mm, demand has increased uh, tremendously too. So the uh, aesthetics of performing leadership has become uh, an area of interest. I operate a bit with with the different forms of knowledge, uh, so I think one should mix uh, performative knowledge or knowledge as performance, uh, but also critical knowledge, uh, knowledge that knows how it knows things, uh, and also technical knowledge that is only interested in uh, the what question, so to speak. The thing is that business schools historically have been heavily investing in technical knowledge. Uh, and we have gradually become more interested in, uh, in the other two, the, the critical and the performative. Uh, so I think it's important to offer opportunities for students to perform, to do their knowledge, as I sometimes say. Uh, and in, the, in that sense, we should also do uh, knowledge with them, uh, but uh, not exclude from that the critical uh, question of uh, ha do you know your knowledge, so to speak, what is going on here when, when this is done, when leadership is performed, what is happening? Humanities, for example, is this interest in the critical question, uh, which is very much the question of uh, prevent closure from happening, uh, uh, from preventing singularity to take over or totality that you uh, zoom in on one and decide that this is the true and then this should include all. So uh, keep it open and multiple and keep it moving. The critical question is always disturbing, suspending ambitions to, uh, to say this is it. Uh, and slightly irritating. It's, uh, for, for me, it's also provoking. It should be, uh, 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 have a provoking, prevent people from sitting down comfortably, simply. Uh, uh, and, uh, and obviously these are, these are connected. So uh, there's few ways to do better provocations than by performing, for example, because it, it has this uh, access to, uh, to produce affect in the participant. So you, it's hard to uh, intellectually distance yourself from something when you experience it. Uh, if you read something, you can always decide how to interpret or relate to it, even if it gets to you. But if you're experiencing a performance of something, it, it becomes uh, more visceral, bodily, uh, affective. And, uh, that hopefully, when it works well, I think it distances you from your habitual ways of thinking about this and you have to kind of come back to what you thought were normal or what you thought had 
been decided in yourself how I should understand this or that. When you do knowledge in, a, in, a, in an effective way, uh, it, it's like it throws things up in the air again. Uh, it becomes a, a carnivalesque moment. Uh, carnival is always multiplicity in, in movement, yeah? uh, and it includes bodies. Uh, 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 so in that sense, it's, um, they do often uh, go together, but I think these performative, critical and technical will always be uh, part of the business school uh, pedagogy and curricula, but that we will see more uh, emphasis, I think, on the, on the performative side.